Ooh, the fridge shot. What's up, dude? I'm here to talk to you about this guy, the Yeelight Mini Action Camera. Pros and cons that come with this cute little action camera. Well, as you can see, the picture quality is pretty good. At 1080p, the footage looks fantastic. I drop it into Caden Live without missing a beat. It just works. In 1080p, it records at 30 or 60 frames per second. I shoot in 60 and then drop it into the 24 timeline and it on the fly converts it. It usually works pretty seamlessly. It shoots 4K with a giant asterisk. It shoots 4K at the same bit rate of 30 megabit, but it shoots 4K at 20 frames per second. And it's not unwatchable. It also shoots in 120 frames per second at 720p, but my biggest complaint isn't so much that 720p, that it's just not a great 720p. The built-in microphones that are on the top, they, they shoot upward, but they seem to do a pretty decent job of catching, you know, if you're holding it like this and you're talking to it, it catches it pretty good. It's not as good as the Rode mic, but still pretty good. Micro USB charging port. It came with a battery. It has a little tab here for pulling out and then your micro SD card slice in there. I also want to point out it's got a uh, mount. It does have the ability to record raw fisheye data. It also has the ability to, to warp back to normal, so all the corners. I actually like the way that looks. I run it like that most of the time. It's got electronic image stabilization that works not too bad, not great. About equivalent of a cheap smartphone, about equivalent of this thing. So the big, big negative here, I did a firmware upgrade. I was hoping that would fix it, but sometimes you hit this record button, it starts recording video, but sometimes it's just like, nah, you don't need audio. Why would you want audio? It's an action camera. So if it's something super important, make sure, make sure you got an external audio source as your backup for important things. For me, it's the way I use it. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but I do have to make sure I check all my footage. So that's the big negative. Low light is atrocious. Any of the shots you saw shot in this room look horrendous. They don't look as good as, as the smartphone pictured up. So from now on, this is probably getting me my setup for, you know, picking it up and carrying it with me from different places in the room. There's exposure settings in this, but you know, no log file, uh, only one color mode but for a $50 camera, it's hard to beat this thing. It also did not come with any accessories whatsoever. It had the battery and the box, uh, no lens cap. So those are some things to keep in mind. Uh, again, a decent value. Um, if, you, if you really need the audio record every single time, this could be a deal breaker. All right, guys. So thank you for listening to my funny talking head segment. And, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.